The ceremony marking the change in command on Fort Hood was short on pomp and circumstance, but very long on the symbolism. Party for While army units housed here went off to keep peace and freedom alive halfway across the world, things here at home changed. Forcecom Commander General Michael Garrett said perhaps the Army got too busy with its own work and missed that change. The past several months especially have not been easy. Not for this community, not for the soldiers of Fort Hood and their families, and not for our Army. More soldiers missing from Fort Hood and more turning up dead and commanders perhaps too disconnected from their charges. Well, there's a new sheriff in town and he means business. We must reset here at Fort Hood and return to those fundamentals of leadership at every level. And this starts with investing in and certifying our leaders. This post said Major General John Richardson will get an HR makeover with a focus on putting commanders in closer touch with their soldiers. Something that came up in our investigation into the death of Vanessa Guillen. What happened to the specialist Vanessa Guillen was absolutely horrible. General Garrett said in an evening press conference, the Army's HR problem has taken top priority. We will not be defined by this. You know, we owe Specialist Guillen, her parents, her family, we owe her our very, very best efforts to get better, and we will. General Richardson will oversee the retraining and reconnection process that will put commanders and soldiers together one day every month. Richardson says some commanders here have already gone farther. Uh, one of the brigade commanders uh, is uh, taking some initiatives to get into the barracks on the weekends, checking on their soldiers, checking on their well-being. It's called command presence. Uh, Again, something we've heard from people we've talked to in our investigation of the missing soldiers, they said was lacking the uh, command presence. Well, Fort Hood will lack command presence no more, says Richardson, because not only his reputation or Fort Hood's reputation rides on this, the reputation of the U.S. Army rides on it as well. We're live on Fort Hood tonight. Dennis Turner, 25 News. Back to you.